Hey guys, so the Hatching Tide event 2023 edition has finally arrived in Eorzea and I'm not sure quite how to put it. The rewards are incredibly meme filled and I think that they are hilarious and if this is an event that you have any interest in the rewards in, I would totally do it. I think that this is hilarious. What I'm gonna say off the bat is please don't dye the Tonberry suit pink. <laughs> oh my god. With that being said, let's get into the rewards. And so the big flagship reward is gonna be the Glamour set, which is gonna be the Tonberry out. Outfit, and it does include pants and shoes that I'm gonna show in just a second but the main suit you can obviously tell is like just like a giant tonberry at least because I'm a Rothgar I mean if you're a Lollifo you might be tiny is equipped with the full sash all around with a beautiful lantern which is I think a really nice detail you can see nice stitching around it all around it I, I think that honestly the amount of love, care, and attention that went into this for a meme outfit is as usual with our devs who are a blessing, just outstanding. They, they knocked it out of the park. They, they, they really delivered quality with this. Although I'm gonna be honest, this is obviously meant to be one of those meme suits. So we have like the Tonberry, we have the elephant, we have the frog, we have the chocobo. Oh my god. Odd guys, we we basically get a party full of memes at this point, which I find absolutely amazing and hilarious. So now I'm gonna take off the robe, and that's because it covers up all the details of everything else. And so the shoes you can see are kind of like Disney shoes. They remind me of like the Mickey Mouse oversized shoes. Even on Rothgar, they're just like super oversized. Same with the mitts, they're just like super oversized. The details in them are also really nice. Like even if you look at the shoes, they have like this kind of like. I don't know how to even describe it, like spike or fang or something going through it. it. It's really rude. And then like the gloves have the fur at the top. I think it's nice. Now, these shorts are not to my taste. I'm not gonna lie, but I think the developers intentionally made sure that they were like just meant to be like baggy, poofy kind of meme shorts. These are these are the kind of shorts that you'd probably not worry about seeing around and being risque at all. These These are very respectful shorts. I will call them respectful shorts. Respectful Tonberry shorts. Now let's talk about the housing item real quick, which is going to be the in-game poster version of the Hatching Tide 2022 image, which I think is a nice touch. I totally recognize this image because I just recently brought up the webpage. I'm like, oh, this is the 2022 version. I'm like, this is cool. I always think that it's neat. And so it is kind of going into my collection of like anime posters, or I don't know how to even describe it. Like it's like the poster collection because we got one recently for the Valentine's Day event, which I think is nice. It's pretty soon we're gonna have like a bunch of these, which I think is neat. So we had like kind of like the mobiles and now we're kind of getting this. I, I liked it. It's a good variety. Now the last reward is going to be the Orchestrian Scroll Papaya Demastered. And the Papaya song for years gets stuck in my head and it just will not leave. <laughs> It is like just in there and so this music scroll is kind of like a different tone to it um god only knows if this is gonna be stuck in my head i don't know but i do think that it's neat i am scared to say it's catchy and it's the music that's been playing throughout the entire background of this video and so if you like it definitely pick that up i think it's nice i actually do like it until it gets stuck on the loop then i'm gonna be like uh papaya papaya Boom, boom. Now let's talk about how you're going to actually unlock the event. And so you're going to go to Gili Aliapo in Old Gridania at Miketos Amphitheater of coordinates X of 10.2 and Y of 9.4. And this is going to unlock the quest Get Along and Play Knife. Oh god. I just got off of Diablo 4 to 14 for a bit of a cleanse and it's dark here too, no. This is gonna get you through a bunch of cutscenes, which I think are pretty neat. They're just a little mischievous, they're a little fun. I, I definitely think that they have a good vibe to them, kinda. It's it's not as dark. And then the next quest is Chaos, Carnage, Eggs. Oh god, I can't escape the dark. But what this quest is really going to boil down to at the end is completing the fate Don't Be Selfish in Central Shroud at coordinates of X 25.3 and Y of 29.3. I'm gonna be super serious with you here. It can take a while for this event to spawn, and so if you're there, if you're just waiting, probably keep waiting as long as the event's still running of course now let's talk about the fate and what you're actually going to be doing during the fate and so for the fate 
you're gonna be basically going around and collecting a bunch of eggs off of the ground and what I noticed was when I got nine eggs that it was only giving me a silver so you're gonna want to probably get ten or more in order to get the max reward and so let's talk though about how many fates you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to do at least two so like even though the quest is gonna be done stick around for two don't be stupid like me and go back and forth and that's because the rewards cost this currency and so the entire tonberry armor set is going to be 10 archon eggs housing item is two orchestral music scrolls three but then you can also grab 10 of the magic prisms for one archon egg if you want everything but the prisms you're going to need at least 15 although i am going to make the recommendation here you're going to want to stick around and get two fades and all of these items are obtainable from the egg advocate near the quest location now let's talk about the friend emote because this i kind of kept separate because it is just the end of the quest reward and i'm like hey i better let them know about the fate and then this and this emote is absolutely freaking hilarious it is going to be a staple and so even if you have no interest in the Tonberry outfit you're just like memes are for kids tricks are for kids I hate this this is awful and this is going to be a pink dyed awful 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 thing you're still probably gonna probably want the friend emote because it's pretty freaking awesome and I do like the music too yeah you get this just from completing the quest this is not gonna be an Archon egg reward so don't worry about that and with that being said and done, I'm just going to wrap up this video here. Thank you all for tuning in, and I am very happy to be back in Iorzy. It feels like I'm detoxifying from the darkness. <laughs> oh my god. D4 is really dark, guys. Dang. Yeah, I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I hope that you're doing well. And yeah, happy Easter, everyone. I actually need a bit of Jesus in my life after this weekend. Holy shoot. I'm not even joking. That game was dark. That game was crazy dark.